everybody welcome back to the show today I got the parts all in for my CZ Shadow 2 I got uh, Elman extended fire pin the uh, Caesar shop um, spring kit the light spring kit hammer recoil main soft uh, firing pin spring and the Cajun gun works reach reduction kit as well Just, and that trigger doesn't work without the floating firing pin can't remember what kit that came with might have come with this one anyway I'll uh, start stripping this down and we'll get to it okay so before you push the uh, this out you gotta see this spring here there's a keyway that it's in I'll keyway a little notch in there just gotta pick it up Make sure it's over to the right side, and you should be able to push. There you go, push that out. There is a retainer here that is a detent pin with a spring and a little nub. So, careful not to pull that out if you can help it, just makes everything going back in a little tougher. See your cage is all one, you can see where the uh. It engages with this. Alright, take the next step. Alright, so just throw the set screws in. The longer set screw goes in the bottom hole. The short one goes in the top hole. Not quite sure which way to put the... I think it should probably be this way for pre-travel. Because it would be that far. So going under there. Anyway, I'll find out shortly. Uh, and next, I guess we'll drift these out. Slap in the mouth, get it on its way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was no reason to take that back pin out, but what are you going to do? I think that's the wrong way. 
think I do. Right. So I preloaded this spring with a extra, they give you a little pin, a little uh, split pin to throw on there. I just used the old pin out of somewhere else. Anyway, uh, that way you can get the small end of the spring in there first. I'm going to see if it works any easier than trying to force that in and push the pin through. But the kit does come with the, the additional pin to do that with, so I says to myself, let's give that a whirl. Yeah. Okay, that's in place. You can see the other hole. Okay, where's the tap, tap, tap it here? Oh, me with that fucking hammer in my hand. There we go. Make sure that's lined up again. All right. No, oh, that did go pretty smooth. As you can see, how well that uh, part went. knocking that pin through and it should be okay for that part we'll move on a little more I don't know you should be able to hear that pin click yeah okay next we'll throw the hammer let's go in this up on the sear this guy only goes one direction the other direction. There. Let's see if it fits in there nice one. That other hole doesn't quite come flush. Okay, pushed in all the way. Next would be is right down. Retainer for that one. And the detents. One side has a spring, the other side doesn't. At least I think. I watched the CZ guy do it too to make sure he didn't put a spring in there. And he didn't. There you are. Trying to escape on me. This reminds me when I was a kid. I used to hold the flashlight for my father. Didn't realize till much later in light, life, much later in light. He was always pissed that I was holding the light so I could see, not him. He never mentioned that he was the one who wanted to see. Hmm. 
So when my son was holding the light for me, and I couldn't see squat, I asked him, I said, can you see okay? He said, yeah, I can see great. I said, no. Well, it seems like a pretty good plan, but I can't see nothing. This one, we both laughed pretty hard. For some reason I can't get that to go down there. Hold on. Now we roll it over, put the other detent in for the other side. I'm trying to do this so you can see it. But Alright, so all I did was pack a little grease in there and that got everything to sit in place where it needed to be. Next, drop the sear cage back in. You can see where it's been getting. Picking up the... Okay, and getting the sear cage back in. You gotta watch for that. There you go. Get past that little spring there. Push back. Heat tent here. All right. Continue on. Okay, so two more springs to go. Get this guy. with the old well, I guess there's no reason that was so tight see how that bottom coil has an extra little loop No, that part's pretty quick. Uh, fire and pin, same thing. It's... Just down the hole and the plate comes. So if you don't want to lose everything, just... The old spring. There's a new spring. You can physically see that it's a lighter coil. A little longer, but lighter coil. And that's the old firing pin. Yep. Slightly shorter. Okay, and there is a little keyway in it, so you only go in 
one direction. Alright, so that's that. One spring, two spring, three spring. Spring metal I just about pooched. Oh well, maybe I'll have to get a new spacer. Oh, don't mix up the springs. split pin from the trigger. Okay. So that's the back part back together. Fire and pin springs are in. Reduced uh, spring retention there. That's in. I I should leave it. So that's it back together. I haven't done any tuning on it from from uh, it's a lot lighter pull from double action it's working but from there I gotta adjust that rear stop yeah It's pretty close. I think it's just a little bit of fine tuning and I can uh, have it where I want it. Alright, so I got it all back together. Um, took a little bit of work. I had to... The disconnector, the new disconnector is thicker through this. So it wasn't resetting. So I just took it out, filed it, put it back in, worked it, didn't work, did it about four times. And now we're at dummy rounds. Single action there on the reset. Nice and short, full. How short that reset is. got it set right at the end of the reset on the double action so uh, at this point uh, I'm not gonna file it anymore I'm not gonna put the they have the pin with the little swage on the end so I'm not gonna put that in there yet until I take it out and fire it for put a couple hundred rounds through I'll make up a couple hundred rounds tonight too and I'll take that out and I'm gonna stop at a machine shop and hopefully I can pick up some uh, shim stock for my AR-10 I was working on um, so, for now, that'll be it on this, I guess. Like I was saying, the only real um, sort of machine or gunsmith type work you have to do is to uh, shim, or sorry, file in here. You can see the wear mark on this one. And for another condition, I forget what the condition is, you're supposed to file up in here. But I can't quite remember what the, that condition is. But it's not the reset. <laughs> but the, like I said, once you file there, it should bring it back in if it's just a straight reset problem. Alright, let's see if I can give you some consistent 25 yard kings. I 
guess that was fairly consistent. Gun kept working. Some six yard rapid fire. I better move that over. See if I can put 10 quick ones there. Ten quick ones at ten yards. Back to some nice slow twenty fives. Fucking jerked it there. All right. Ten more quick ones. Uh huh. Let's see what's going on there. I love about double action. Okay, that could have been my reload, so. So I've got some range time in with the new uh, short reset or short reach trigger, the uh, Caesar Shop spring kit, and the Eamon, well, Eamon, Elman, Eamon uh, extended firing pin. Uh, took it out test firing it it works great so now i'm going to pull the trigger back out and do the loctite on the on the adjuster screw on the stops on the forward travel and the uh, reverse travel it was a great day out there's footage you'll see uh just in case anyone was being a little gun worried Need zero in there so we'll do a quick disassembly but overall like uh, i'm gonna have to get used to that short reach now uh it was uh, pretty amazing difference in how light the trigger is. Uh, I'm going to polish stuff up, but I'll do that after. I'll just finish this video and have it uh, published. I still got. Uh, I'm still working on my 308. I got all the parts except for shim. I still haven't found any shim, uh, one mm, foul shim material, but I'll do a bit more on that. Anyhow, yeah. Uh, wow. And I'll show a bit more on the disconnector that I had to adjust. I'm going to check it again and see where the wear is and see if I got it flat or not. And then uh, flatten it out a bit again. All right. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting. Stay safe. <laughs>